Do you ever find yourself sitting down at your computer but not knowing where to start? If so, it's very easy to end up on autopilot, checking email and so on, and letting your attention drift and just follow whatever pops up. Once you're in that kind of loop, it can be very difficult to get out again. So ideally, you should never sit down at your computer without having a clear idea of what you're going to do. And you shouldn't wait until you arrive at your desk to decide what to focus on. So you could take 10 minutes at the start of the day to sit with pen and paper and work out what you're going to do. But I think it's better if you do this the day before. So at the end of each day, try to take 10 to 15 minutes to plan the next day. So make a note of anything that you have to do, any pre-existing commitments. So check if you have any appointments or crucial tasks that you have to remember to do. And then aside from those pre-existing commitments, decide what your main priorities are. So your to-do list will probably be far too long to deal with all at once. So the key is to prioritize and try to keep it as simple as possible. So what's the main thing that you're going to focus on? And then once you've done that, try to take some time in the evening to prepare everything that you need for tomorrow, including laying out your clothes and packing your bag with anything that you might need. And this simple habit works because it takes the pressure off from your short-term memory and your decision-making processes first thing in the morning. So you won't need to rush around looking for things and you at least start the day with a clear sense of purpose. Now, when I do this consistently, everything else seems to run more smoothly. But of course, I often let the habit slip. So when I find things getting out of control, this is always the first habit that I try to go back to. Now, just a quick note on this before I finish. Once you've set your priorities for the next day, try to stick with them. So you may hit some problems and want to switch to working on something else in order to stay busy or productive. But if you do that every time you hit a block, then you'll never solve anything. And research is often more about problem solving than productivity. So stick with it and give yourself the opportunity to solve problems when they arise. So try this out and let me know how it works for you. And as always, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe as it helps grow my channel. It helps other people find it. But also head to my website at phd.academy and sign up for email updates so I can let you know directly when I publish new videos because YouTube won't always show you the latest videos even if you're subscribed. On my website, you'll also find details of my online writing course and my book, as well as one-to-one -one coaching and live training at universities. So that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching to the end and I'll see you next time.